In this video I want to teach you how to speed up fonts that are loaded on your WordPress site. So what's the problem? Web fonts such as Google fonts or Typekit or Typepad are loaded from third party sites. So for example, any if you use a Google font, which I do on my sites, they'll be loaded from fonts.google.com. They're loaded with each page, so every time a page loads, that font needs to be downloaded to display. It's not cached, it doesn't have any expired headers, and it slows your page load speed down. So what do we need to do? We need to load those fonts locally from our site, then we can cache them, then we can load them from our CDM. Fonts rarely change, so it's not really a problem with you downloading them and storing them on your local web server. But what we will have is an increase in speed when they don't need to be loaded each time. So how can we do this? Well, we can record our theme or our plugins and load the fonts locally. So you need to go through the code, find out where the fonts been loaded, change the URL, uh, download the fonts and put them on your local web server. That's not for everyone. And we need to retain some of our secret source so we can sell our services. But what we can also do is use a plugin the plugin that we use is OMGF, and I'm going to give you a demo of how to do that. So, in this demo, I'm going to show you what the issue is on my site, wphighspeed.com, and we're going to configure that plugin, OMGF, and load the Google Fonts locally. Let's jump over and look at my site now. So here's my site, WP High Speed. I've run it through GT Metrics. And if we jump over to the Y Slow Score, and then have a look at the expired heading section, you can see there's a fonts there that it's complaining about. If we look at Waterfall, I've excluded everything, I'm just showing fonts. We can see that um, one, two, three, four. Four calls are made to load, to load up those uh, fonts. Not a huge amount of time, 1.59 seconds, but these can't be cached and it's called every time. And it does add a bit of a, an overhead to your site. So what we're gonna do now is jump over, log into the back end of my site and configure OMGF. So here's the plugin, OMGF. Let's have a look at the details of that so you know what it looks like when you're browsing the plugin download store. It looks like that. I'll include a link in the blog posts so you can download the correct version. So if we activate that plugin, in the settings you should have a new menu option, optimize Google fonts. So when you come to the page, we have an option to either manually add the fonts we use or use the auto detect. I like to use the auto detect, so we'll click on that. And then what we need to do is go to the home page. So the point is we load up the home page and OMGF spots which fonts are loaded. And so what OMGF does is pulls back a list of all the Google fonts it can find. So I use Monster App throughout my new site. So what we need to do is click on preload. Do, 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 do. set them to preload and generate a style sheet. So what that's doing is busy downloading the appropriate fonts into a local directory. Generate the style sheet. This takes a little bit of time to do that. Then one more thing we need to do, go to the advanced settings and click on auto remove. So what that does is tells the theme not to download any fonts. So let's jump over to GT Metrics again and see what that result looks like. One more very important thing before we jump to GT Metrics, I've just remembered. You need to click the download fonts button or they won't be downloaded locally. So that would defeat the entire point of what we're doing. So you need to download fonts and generate the style sheet. Let's go over to GT Metrics now. So we're just busy loading up the site. Go to Y slow, add expire headers, and those fonts aren't there anymore. Go to waterfall, 
Let's just reload that. So I've relo reloaded the waterfall. Let's click on fonts. And you can see they've been loaded locally. And it looks like I've got every monster at font and not everyone's been used. So we could probably get rid of some of these font files if we wanted to. But that in essence is how you speed up and locally load your Google fonts. It's been Neil Matthews. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.